Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hey, uh, that happens. And, you know, first of all, I'm Nancy Brown. I'm the CEO of the American Heart Association. Not a doctor, although I spend my life with doctors. And we're, we're going to talk today about surprise medical billing. The average American uh, medical billing, uh, according to what we know, is about $600 and may amount to thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars. And you've heard about people getting those medical bills and you've probably gotten some of your own. Okay, Nancy, what is the surprise medical billing? Well, you just said it so well. You know, oftentimes people are seeking care, um, and maybe that care unknowingly is coming from a doctor or a healthcare provider who's outside of their insurance company's network, or maybe they're seeking emergency care and a patient is unable to choose their medical transport company, their hospital or their doctor. And in both of these cases, patients are held accountable for the care that they have received that's not covered by their insurance. And as you said, you know, nearly 60% of insured Americans have received a surprise medical bill, um, often, you know, in the range of uh, hundreds or thousands of dollars. And as you noted, the average surprise medical bill is more than $600, um, which can be fine and emotionally devastating for individuals to receive. How has the pandemic added to this problem? Well, you know, we would say that now more than ever, um, patients could be forced to an out-of-network hospital, which underscores the really critical need for a legislative solution. The pandemic continues to force people nationwide with chronic conditions and other serious conditions to shift providers or healthcare facilities. And maybe in some cases, people are even delaying treatment. You know, one of the things we've noticed at the American Heart Association and we're working really hard on uh, is the fact that people who are having the warning signs of a heart attack or a stroke are delaying treatment because they're concerned about going to a healthcare system which is there to treat them uh, for their emergency condition. And that's why we've launched a campaign called Don't Die of Doubt. Um, and Don't Die of Doubt um, is urging people to seek the medical care that they need. Oh, what, are there any steps to help us, the consuming public, with this problem that's happening all over to so many people? Absolutely. You know, so first of all, it's important that there is bipartisan support in Congress to fix the issue of surprise medical bills. But Congress must prioritize this legislation and get it over the finish line. And so we believe um, that the way to do that is for patients every all throughout the country to stand up and tell their story about the surprise medical bills that they have received. So we've launched, launched a campaign called hashtag I was billed and we encourage people to use their social media channels, uh, speak out and to share their stories. Um, we uh, know and understand that stories of real people who have received these bills will get Congress to act. And uh, we really, really hope to have a beautiful tapestry from throughout the country of stories that can get this legislation over the finish line. So where can my listening audience go if they want to participate in, in, in this to be heard? Yes, yeah, so so raise your voice, um, visit us at heart.org slash surprise bills to get more information, to get involved. And as we said, you know, take out your phone and uh, tell your story and at the hashtag I was billed and we will work tirelessly to get this legislation passed. Do you also recommend before I let you go, uh, people writing letter to their congressperson? Is that a, also a viable option? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, our voice being heard with our elected officials matters. Um, you know, we understand that uh, some people may prefer to write letters, and we always encourage letters or emails to elected officials' offices. And we really believe that we can illustrate publicly the power of this campaign by this social media effort, hashtag I was billed, so that everyone everywhere can see the outrage of people, um, you know, who are have been affected by surprise medical billing. 
My guest today is Nancy Brown, CEO of the American Heart Association. Thank you so much for that information, Nancy. You do make a difference. Thank you for the opportunity to join you this morning. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.